an outdoor video because I'm about to test this camera mount that I got off AliExpress. I told you about it in one of the previous videos, uh, and now I've got it, uh, and now I want to test it. Uh, but I want to test its ability to withstand stress, uh, hence why we're outside. Um, now, originally, I was going to plan on uh, buying only the top bit, uh, which is where your phone comes in, uh, and I'm obviously holding the phone uh, while I'm recording this. But then they sent me the whole assembly, uh, along with uh, this uh, little tripod with highly visible uh, red legs. Uh, now, the legs, you might notice, uh, are slightly bent out of shape, and that's because they are supposed to be able to bend. They're supposed to be able to bend uh, in order to attach to, like, uh, these sorts of constructions, where there are some sort of tubing uh, that you want the device to be attached to. So, that's what this video is going to be about. It's about this uh, bendy little tripod thing, uh, and it involves a scooter. The scooter that I'm going to be using for this test is some generic no-name brand uh, thing, uh, but the important thing is that it's collapsible. Uh, actually, that's not important at all to the topic at hand, but it is still is. Uh, it has this uh, handlebar to which I'm going to attach the uh, tripod that has fallen over again. Uh, and. Uh, basically, I'm gonna ride it and see what the footage is gonna be like. Uh, keep in mind that the only bit of suspension in here, uh, this uh, thing here, has long since dried out. Uh, and for that reason, uh, I believe that the video is gonna be extremely shaky, probably uh, unbearably shaky, uh, and also probably noisy from uh, all of the uh, mechanical components of the wheels. Uh, like the ball bearings and such. So, we'll see how that goes, and yeah, uh, I'm just gonna record uh, what this uh, camera sees, uh, and I'm just gonna then look at it and say my opinions on it. Um, I should mention at this point that I have no idea as to how fast I'm going uh, due to the phone screen being occupied by the camera feed. Uh, but I don't think that that's going to be important somehow, uh, because this is uneven asphalt, so we're going to have some camera shake anyway. So starting now, and immediately I can see from the uh, screen that the uh, video is really shaky, uh, and probably quite noisy, because I hear a lot of uh, the bumps in the concrete. Uh, so, I'm just gonna ride up here. Uh, now, this is more even asphalt, uh, or concrete, should I say, uh, and, but it's still not perfect. Like, there are uh, these bumps like this one, uh, and some sections that will vibrate like this one. And the camera mount is not helping matters because it, uh, the uh, ball stick that it's sitting on is not really, uh, it's not what you'd call suitable for high G loads. So I'm just gonna drive a little bit more carefully from now on. I'm just gonna adjust the camera so that you can see the oncoming traffic. So this is a road designed for cars. So I mean, that one was also designed for cars, but this one was not broken by said cars. So, this one is much smoother. I mean, there's still some vibration going on, but I'm not sure that that's going to be fixable at all. Instantly, I have no idea whether or not you can actually hear me, uh, due to the fact that uh, windows rushing past and the vibrations from uh, the screw itself are propping through the camera mount because, as I say, there is no uh, actual suspension in there. At least there is not much suspension to speak of. So, uh, first, currently I'm just gonna try and loop around here, and this is basically our local um, main car road. Uh, 
the one that you can see at the top of the screen, not the one that I am at right now. Uh, uh, so I'm not going to drive out there uh, due to the traffic, uh, but uh, I can immediately see, you can't really see that uh, from the uh, camera, uh, but the surface is quite bumpy. So apparently that's not designed for uh, vehicles with small wheels like the scooter. So I'm just gonna drive carefully past here. Now this, uh, the road that I'm on, is a pedestrian road. Uh, but it's made from the same stuff as that one, so I'm not guessing that there's going to be much of a difference. Uh, which it does not appear to be. Like, there are still these uh, cracks and bumps. Uh, uh, probably from uh, all of the uh, rocks they pour in uh, to set the concrete. Uh, I should point out at this point that I have no idea of how concrete is actually made. But still. So... Yeah, I'd say this uh, works. I have no idea how well, though, because I haven't... Uh, obviously, I haven't looked at the footage yet. Um, so... Now I'm just gonna drive up here, and... This is the... Uh, semi-broken road, so uh, there are a lot of, uh, like, uh, how do you call it, um, um, basically holes uh, in the uh, ground, so those are what influence the um, uh, shaking the most, and it's now so steep I have to push the scooter. But yeah, so that's basically uh, how about four of the um, the common types of concrete around here uh, look like when recorded from camera. Okay, so I'm back where I started, and uh, uh, after reviewing the footage, I should point out that it's not half bad as I was taught it would be. So, good job, cheapo camera mount. Uh, and I've also noticed that the camera app has an option for uh, slow motion. Uh, recording. So, uh, I was curious to try that on an uneven surface to see how much vibration there is going on. Because the vibration that I've seen uh, is not that much of vibration to speak of. Therefore, it could be fixable um, in a computer video editor if I had the time, which I have not. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just interested in how much actual vibration is going on, so I'm just gonna drive along here again uh, and uh, record this in slow motion so we can see the vibration more clearly. Actually, that's why I'm not gonna drive along here because there is a car in the way and a couple of other cars that are trying to pull in here, so uh, going along this way would be fraught. So I'm just gonna uh, drive around there uh, and uh, go on the even asphalt, even concrete, uh, and see how uh, much vibration is there. And then I'm gonna drive to uh, the shop there, and that's uh, gonna be the end of the video. Okay.
So in conclusion, uh, all I'm going to say is that uh, cheaper camera mount on scooter is a feasible way to record video. Uh, but on the other hand, I have no idea what I'm going to use it for. Probably nothing at all, because uh, I've got a need for the camera mount uh, while I'm recording electronics. Uh, but still, uh, if somebody is into that, uh, recording roads uh, with uh, scooters, then that's a way to go about it. Yeah.